Hi viewers, this week's video is about Aquamarine. Some viewers and subscribers know this piece here from a big Aquamarine crystal. A month ago I cut two Aquamarine cabochons and as I cut these crystal I decide to use this beautiful piece here with some interesting ingredients for faceting. In the background you can see the design I will use. It is by Aria Akavan called Igloo and it's optimized for aquamarine but works from feldspar to cubic zirconia which means from reflective index 1.52 to 2.16 without any changes. Aria preferred it to cut it in aqua with a suggested size from 6 to 12 millimeter. So this piece of aquamarine is perfect. I've searched a very long time for a suitable design, found some uh, square designs, see I've made some notes here. Later I found the igloo design by Arya Akaban and uh, thought it is perfect for this piece here. The shape is pretty good for this design. We don't waste lot of material. Look at this note. Hopefully this design will darken the lighter rust. I'm super excited how our stone looks when it is finished. You see we have a very bright aquamarine, not an intense color. It's more like an ice blue. We all know this amazing blue color from the glacier eyes. Reminds me a little bit on such glacier eyes. So igloo fits perfect in this case. Or This is the design by Aria Akavan. We cut in this piece of aquamarine. I will use the C-axis for the pavilion and the crown. It is because of the shape and because of the inclusions. I really like these inclusions here in this piece. In the other roughs from this crystal a lot of such uh, white inclusions looks like tiny lightnings. Anyway, they are very interesting and beautiful and we want to use it in our design. So uh, yeah, first thing we will see in time lapse is the doping process. This is the top, this is the bottom. We use the C-axis for the crown and for the pavilion. It's a relatively big piece and I hope we end up with a beautiful big aquamarine gemstone. Okay, now you will see the time-lapse of the dopping. After that you will see some time-lapse scenes from the cutting, pre-polishing and the polishing that you know which way I use or that you know my technique. When we finished we take a closer look at the result. Okay, enjoy! After cleaning the rough from the old nodes, I measured the exact center point and made a new node. Now I put the dop sticks in Ultratex Premium Transfer Sliding Fixture, clean the flat dop and use a piece of modeling clay to align the rough stone in the exact position we need. Mix the 5 minute 2 part epoxy, put it on the dop stick and make sure that we have enough adhesive all around and between dop and stone, put it together and let him dry. Usually I'm waiting between 12 and 24 hours before we start cutting. And here we are at the V5 and I'm installing the 600 grit diamond disc to start cutting the first facets. Start cutting the pavilion mains up to a temporary center point. Later we take a quick look at the diagram and I will show you how to cut. To set the size of the stone and build up a girdle outline I have to cut three tiers of girdle facets. Time to cut the barium facets. Also three tiers and they are very steep. We reach the point when it is time to change to a finer grid. In this case I use the 3k diamond disc. Later when we take a closer look at the diagram I will tell you the exact point because uh, we don't have to cut away a lot of material and we can overcut all facets to cut out every little scratch. Time to pre-polish our stone. I'm using the Bat Lab and 8K Diamond. 
here you see me cleaning the bed lab and preparing it with fresh 8k diamond in general always be sure to clean your hands your stone and your equipment to avoid scratches pre-polishing this aquamarine with the 8k diamond on the bed lab worked very very well so i decided to use 60k diamond for the final polishing at first my plan was to use an oxide on the dark side lab. Here we are finished the polishing and now we have to transferring our stone to the cone dog that we are able to cut the crown. As usual, clean the stone, clean the dop with some alcohol for safe adhesion. To protect the culet, I put a little piece of modeling clay in the cone dog. Mix the 5 minute 2 part epoxy, put it on the top stick and on the stone, make sure you add enough adhesive between both and put it together. Let him dry. After about 12 to 24 hours, everything is hard and dry and safe. Now we can use heat to remove the flat top from the crown. To protect the stone and the adhesive on the pavilion of any influence of heat, I'm using a wet paper tissue. After heating up the adhesive, you can use a sharp blade or your fingers to remove it, but uh, be careful with fire and sharp blades. Always take good care on your fingers and your stone to avoid damaging it. Now we're ready to cut the crown. I'm installing again the 600 grit diamond disc. Check the cutting instructions, make sure you understand it before you start to cut the first facets. Relatively fast, we are reaching the point where we can change to a final grid. In this case, again, the 3K diamond disc, and I cut my way through the instructions. Time to pre polish the stone. Again, we clean the stone, our fingers, and the equipment we use. Preparing my bed lab with 8K diamond and start pre-polishing. Now we made a jump to the polishing. Here you see me preparing the bed lab with 60k diamond and start polishing. Here I'm using the 3k diamond disc to align the 90 degree tabling adapter. So we are able to cut a perfect flat table in our crown. It is just a small table. I start cutting with the 3k diamond before I change very fast to the bed lab with 8k diamond. For the final polishing, again, I'm using the 60k diamond. Worked very, very well. After finished polishing, we only have to remove the stone from the top stick again with a little bit of heat and a wet paper tissue to protect our stone. Removing a little bit of remaining adhesive, also with a little bit of heat. Now we're coming to a magic moment for every jam cutter. Just enjoy later more. Well, finished polishing the aquamarine in igloo design by Aria Akava. I am super happy with the result. In this light here the stone looks a little bit more colorless than on daylight. Super cool gemstone full of these tiny white inclusions. They add some interesting effects in the stone. Yeah. And I think it uh, was a good idea to cut these super cool design by Aria Akava in igloo. And um, yeah, I hope you also enjoy the beauty of this wonderful aquamarine. It has 11.1 carat. Okay, let's take a closer look at the diagram. You can also find some uh, cutting informations on my social media if you're interested. Links to Instagram and Facebook are in my video description down below. But now let's take a, a quick look. Okay, I start cutting the P1 facets all around and up to the center point. Start cutting with the 600 grit diamond disc. It was relatively quick. It is a good smooth cutting. Feels very good. The next are the three tiers of girdle facets with the G1 facets here, 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 here and here. We set the size of our stone. Here are the G1 facets. Here the G2, G3, here these small facets on the gill. After cutting G1, G2, G3, we end up in this shape. We start uh, cutting the P2, which are the first tier of variant facets. Here we can see them very good. P2, P3, P4. If you're finished the P2 tier, you can change to a finer grid, maybe 1200, 3K, because uh, by start cutting the P3 tier, you don't have to cut away a lot of material. The facets are cut very fast. 
The last facet is the P5, which creates the PCP, the permanent center point. I also start cutting the chrome with a 600 grit diamond disc. If you finished this C1 and C2, you can change to finer grids. I decide to use 3K. Every follow facets are uh, very small and cuts very fast. If you also pre-polish your stone with 8K diamond, use lower speeds because uh, it cuts very fast. For sure, on the first view it looks complicated. It isn't complicated, it is uh, relatively easy. You have a good cutting sequence and all the meat points will help you through this design. Be careful when you cut the table and remember also the pre-polish cuts. I start cutting the table with the 3k diamond disc but I change very fast to the 8k diamond on the bed lab. I've hit the meat points very well with the 8k diamond. You have a good control. Pretty cool design. If you have questions let me know for sure. Also for me when I don't cut it it looks a little complicated but it really isn't complicated. It is easy. The cutting sequence is very good. You will understand it very fast. Maybe you have understand it due to my video. And uh, yeah, if you cut a stone in this design, please show us. Send me a picture on Instagram or Facebook and let me know how your stone turns out. It's a really cool design for aqua. Please remember, this is not the best light here. In daylight, we have a more intense blue. Okay, now I hope you know how to cut and you know what you have to pay attention to. Wonderful gemstone. I'm really happy with it. Thank you very much for watching the video up to this point. I hope you have fun in gem cutting with me together, especially here in faceting these wonderful aquamarine. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, it really helps my small channel. Turn on future notifications if you don't want to miss a video. I really hope we see us in the next video. Have a wonderful week. Bye bye.